sad day in music and movies and TVs. Yeah, either way, it's a sad day. to my channel this is kidar aka kd smooth and today we're diving into the life and career of one of the most influential figures in music history quincy jones you've probably heard his name attached to legendary records and artists but there's so much more to the man than just his famous collab uh, collaborations Quincy's story is one of resilience, innovation, and unique visions that helped shape the music industry as we know it. So, let's get right into it. Oh man, I woke up this morning to one of the most saddest news that I've heard. And nobody requested for me to, for me to do this video, but I just felt like it was only right because Quincy Jones is definitely my favorite producer of all time. Like he's number one on my list like nobody's ever taken his spot and like like he has like this whole I, he's, not, he's not even on the list he has like this whole stratosphere to himself when it comes to me but um he's definitely up up top there nobody's ever taken that spot from him so it was only right that i did this video um honoring the legend quincy jones quincy jones who was born in 1933 in chicago illinois Growing up in the Great Depression, he faced tough times and hardships, which only made him more determined to pursue his dreams. Quincy Jones' love for music began early, and by the time he was a teenager, he was already teaching himself to play the trumpet. He had an unquenchable thirst for learning, and jazz music became his uh, escape and inspiration. A little later on, after moving to Seattle, Quincy met, met Ray Charles, another future legend who became a lifelong friend. This friendship pushed him to take music seriously, and, and soon he would be gigging around town and making a name for himself. By age 18, Quincy was accepted into prestigious Berklee College of Music in Boston, which opened doors for him to, uh, to the professional world of music. In the 1950s, Quincy Jones became a jazz prodigy. He began arranging music for legends like Duke Ellington and Dizzy Gillespie. In 1956, he joined Gillespie's big band as a trumpet player and arranger, which took him around the world and gave him a global perspective on music. This time abroad also allowed him to broaden his musical influences from jazz to bossa nova, which would later shape his eclectic style. Throughout the 1950s and the 60s, Quincy established himself as one of the most in-demand arrangers and composers in jazz and beyond. He wasn't just a musician, he was a, a visionary, pushing boundaries and combining genres in ways that had never been done before. In the 1960s, Quincy Jones broke new ground by moving into film and television scoring, becoming one of the first African-American composers in Hollywood. He scored for classic films like The Pawn Broker and In Cold Blood, and his work on these films showcased his unique ability to tell stories through music. Quincy went on to score 33 major films throughout his career and became a trusted name in Hollywood. He wasn't just making music, he was making history. His film scores helped to diversify Hollywood and inspire countless others with shows like The Bill, the Bill Cosby Show. Um, he helped introduce jazz and soul into mainstream television soundtracks, blending them in a way that resonated with audiences worldwide. And one of my favorite um, film scores that he, well, TV scores that he did is Sanford and Son, man. That intro is my favorite, <laughs> my favorite musical intro of all time. I mean, especially with the harmonica in the song going crazy. That's, it just, it's on top of the list for me. I love Sanford and Son, but that intro, the music, 
is definitely up there. But it was in the late 1970s and 1980s that Quincy Jones' career reached unparalleled heights. Enter Michael Jackson. Quincy first collaborated with Jackson on the Off The Wall album in 1979, and the album was a massive success, blending pop, R&B, disco, and jazz in a way that had never been done before. It sold over 20 million copies and was the perfect setup for the next project, Thriller. Released in 1982, Thriller became a phenomenon, selling over 66 million copies worldwide and solidifying both Quincy and Michael Jackson as musical royalty. Quincy's production on this album was groundbreaking. He pushed for the perfection, blending genres, bringing in top musicians, and creating a sound that was both polished and raw. I mean, songs like Billy G, Beat It, and Thriller became a cultural milestone, and their third album together, Bad, released in 1987, also became an instant hit further proving that Quincy and Jackson's partnership was a golden era in pop music. Quincy had aired for hits and knew how to bring out the best of Michael Jackson, shaping him into the king of pop. While Quincy Jones could have just coasted on his music success, he chose to use his influence for good. In 1985, he spearheaded the recording of We Are The World, a massive a humanitarian project to raise funds for African famine release. The song featured over 40 artists and became one of the best-selling singles of all time. This project showed that Quincy wasn't just about making music, he wanted to make a difference. Throughout the 90s and 2000s, Quincy continued working behind the scenes, finding Quest records and signing artists across genres. He also became a mentor to younger generations, always seeking to uplift the next wave of talent. A great artist, for example, Tevin Campbell. When Quincy found Tevin Campbell and signed to his label, man, Tevin took off by storm and Quincy had a young legend in his hands. His Quincy Jones Foundation works to provide education, culture, and arts access to undeserved communities. Quincy Jones' impact on music is unmatched. He's won 28, 28 Grammy Awards and been nominated 80 times. 80 times is crazy, and he received countless honors for his contributions to the industry. But beyond the awards, Quincy's legacy lives on in the artists that he's influenced from jazz to pop, hip hop and beyond. Quincy's work is a blueprint for anyone wanting to make music that's both innovative and timeless. Quincy wasn't just a pioneer in one genre. He was a pioneer in all genres. His production style, ability to blend sounds and commitment to musical excellence has set the standard for what's possible in music. Quincy Jones is by far, without a doubt, a legend, a pioneer, and a visionary. From jazz clubs to Hollywood, and from the recording studio to global humanitarian efforts, Quincy's influence is everywhere. His story is a reminder that music can break boundaries, unite people, and make the world a better place. Thank you everybody for joining me on this journey through Quincy Jones' incredible life and legacy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, follow me on my social media on Instagram and TikTok. My Instagram is kdsmooth112 underscore, and my TikTok is the name's kdsmooth. Let me know in the comments down below who you want me to do a video on next. Until next time, keep the music alive and please y'all be good to each other because the Lord knows y'all have been good to me. And if you didn't know me before, you should know me by now. This is Kidar, aka KD Smooth. And until next time, peace and God bless. And
Rest in peace, Quincy. Thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you've contributed in the world of music, film scores, and just being a great pioneer. See y'all in the next one.